today we just have a quick episode where I want to introduce the CreateML um, tool provided by Apple. And um, it's just an additional tool for um, creating machine learning models um, like image classifiers, object detectors, sound classifiers, and activity classifiers. Um, of course, you could also train those machine learning models on Cloud Platform. Um, but today we're looking at um, CreateML. And we're going to um, create an image classifier here. So we just select the image classifier, go next, and then we got to put a project name in. And we just leave my image classifier here. And then it wants us to save the project to, to a folder. So we just create it here. And then CreateML actually opens up. And we see if the, we have the project here on the left-hand side, which is called My Image Classifier. This is the same information we got um, when we created the project. And then we have our machine learning model here. And you see right now we don't have an input or any training data or anything, right? So first of all, we got to think about what our image classifier is supposed to classify. And in our example, it's going to be notebooks and office chairs. And now we got to select the training data and got to understand how the structure works so CreateML can create this machine learning model. Um, for that, let's just uh, open up my finder real quick. And um, if we if we look here, uh, this is basically how your your data should be structured, right? Um, so you have a f like a f like a group testing data, and you have training data, and then in there you can define uh, uh, folders, which later on be the labels. Right. If you identify like a notebook, you will get that as a as a reply. So in here, you just put images in there of different notebooks. Um, the same thing, different office chairs. Of course, ten is is not enough to be like a productive machine learning model. But for our demos, it's fine. So what we do now is actually let's step one one back. So if we want to have like more labels here, right? We want to like identify more images. We, we can just like create a, a new folder and call it uh i don't know like apples and then you have different apples in there right and then you can train your um machine learning model with apples as well but right now we uh, stay with notebooks and office chairs and uh, here we just select the training data and the training data is this here so we just select the full folder and we say open and you see the training data has 28 items so 10 notebooks 10 office chairs and the validation data, you can say automatic, or you can actually choose validation data if you want to. Um, we just leave automatic here. And for the testing data, which is, of course, different data, uh, different images, right? Um, we're using the testing data here. Uh, also, you can do uh, augmentations to improve your uh, machine learning model, right? You can add noise, blur, crop, expose, and so on, uh, and train the, train the uh, model with that. Um, so it's more sufficient. But uh, right now, we just leave it as is. We really do the easiest way. And then here we just say train. And you can see it's preparing the image as it's loading. And um, it's actually starting to train. And you see it's super fast. I mean, I was like 20 images. That's pretty fast. We see, um, oh, it's testing right now. Let's just. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go to testing, uh, training. We see completed after iteration two of maximum, maximum 25. Our training accuracy with the images we provide is 100%. And, um, we can see there's a precision of 100% because it's like literally just 10 images here. And then, uh, we have the testing here and the testing was successful as well. But the interesting part here is look at this file size. It's like, of course, it's like a small model. But in general, create ML created machine learning models are usually pretty, pretty small because Apple provides on-device machine learning by embedding that machine learning model in there. So you don't want to have like a 500 M uh, meg file size. Um, so this is super, super small. And you can literally just drag and drop that into your project, right? Um, let's see. Open up Xcode. Um, I have a fully uh, uh, set up project here because I'm not going to implement everything in detail. I'm just going to show you the code. But what you can do here is you can literally just copy that, uh, drag and drop that in here, 
And that's pretty much it, right? More you, uh, more you don't have to do. But we have our product image classifier right here. And then we can see um, more information about that, right? And um, yeah, let's see how you would actually implement an image classification using our model. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you the, the, the view setup um, real quick. It's pretty basic. We have a navigation controller in, in there. We have like a camera view controller. That's what I call it. We have like a two bar button items. One is library, one is the camera. Um, the camera only works if you're on the real device. Um, so for the simulator, I implemented the library here. If we actually go into the camera view controller, we see um, we got to import a couple of uh, frameworks here. Of course, we need our SAP frameworks, but we also can utilize vision to prep our images for classification. And that's very helpful here. So we have a camera view controller, which is a view I view controller. And um, in here we have a table view. Of course, we could have used the table view controller. But anyway, um, we have a value classified category where we store our um, classif classified category, like whatever the machine learning model spits out in the end. Then we have a UI image picker con uh, controller for the library. We have some mock data here, which is going to be displayed um, if we identify notebooks and office office chairs, right? And uh, now we have the interesting part. So we have a lazy classification request, right? It's a, it's a lazy uh, computer property here in this, this case. And um, in here, we literally just instantiate the um, core ML model with our with the name and um, then we just create a, a VN core ML request, which passes in the model and starts the classification process um, in the completion handler here, like the same as. So the completion handler here. So we just start pro process classifications for our created request. And of course, if there's no error, we pass in the error as well. And um, also, we got to crop and scale the image a little bit. Um, so we just do a center crop here. Um, just to bring it in a nice size. And then we just return our request. So the view did load is not super interesting. Um, it's just like the, the image picker delegate set and the table view um, set up for, the, for using the FUI object table view cell. So when, you, when the user taps on, on the library, um, pretty much just set up the, the picker control and present it, the image picker control. And uh, if we tap the camera, um, we just do <clears throat> a check here if the uh, if the camera source is available, and then we execute that. And if not, we get an alert dialog saying, oh, sorry, there is no camera on this device, which is the simulator, right? And then in the end, we just like present this alert view controller. So to the interesting part now, we have like the update classifications here, and we pass in the UI image. We make sure the orientation of the image is correct, right? And for that, we um, got to use the SG image property orientation. And uh, we got to write an extension for that where we have a, a switch case in the init. And there we just say um, up is up, up mirrored is up mirrored, uh, uh, down is down, and so on. And it's just a mapping here um, of one object to the other. Um, and that means CGI image property orientation um, is, is, is what we got here. And we pass in the UI image orientation. And we got, just got to map it here. So going back to the camera view controller. So we make sure the orientation is set. And then we create a CI image because the model needs this as CI image to, to, to process the classification. And if that would fail, we would throw an error, right? So let's just see, we create the CI image here, we pass in an image, and um, if it fails, again, we, we show the fatal error here. Um, and then we just dispatch uh, to the global queue to asynchronously perform the classification request. So um, we create a V, an image request handler, we pass in the CI image, we pass in the orientation, and we tell them, please try um, 
to perform this classification request for us. If that doesn't work, we just um, print an error here. So the process classifications um, here, um, again, we pass in a VN request. We have an optional error here. We dispatch to the main queue. And uh, now we pretty much just check what are the results. If they're no, we do something. We have the classifications uh, here um, in the result. And then we just check if the uh, classifications are empty. And if, if not, we retrieve the top classifications ranked by confidence, right? So in that we can do um, just call classifications the prefix two. Um, so that gives us the best, the top two classifications. And um, we could also say one. Um, but uh, let and then we, we just check the, the the category names, right? And then we return the category name here. And uh, that's pretty much it. We just reload the table view then and um, display the result. And the result is displayed just over UI table view data source, displaying just some object cells, um, which are going to display this this mock data here. So let's let's just run this real quick. So we're running it on iPhone 11 Pro Max uh, simulator, and um, I've already onboarded, and we just log in, and we can see it tells us to select an image or take a picture. Um, because I know it's it's a simulator, I cannot use use the camera here, uh, but I can use the library. But how do you get the two classified images into your library on simulator? So to get a picture into your library on your simulator, it's pretty basic. Um, you just open a finder uh, where you where your picture is. Um, I have like a, a Mac here, and um, then you just drag and drop it into uh, into your sim simulator, and then it all automatically opens up your Photos app and add it, adds the the, the just uh, um, and adds the image. So going back to the core ML sample. We can now just say library and uh, just pick our image. And it takes a second to process. And then we see it's a notebook. Um, so we can we can just uh, um, show that here. right? And the same thing would work for office chairs as well. And that's pretty much it. Like Use CreateML, give it meaningful data to create a great machine learning model. And then just drag and drop it into your Xcode project and um, use vision to pre-process the image and then just feed it to the, to the classification and, and enjoy your result.